Hey folks, so for the very first time, uh, we ordered from Instacart, uh, from Aldi through Instacart. And I'm sure that the, there's a lot of people out there that are doing this for the first time or haven't done it yet. And I just want you to know what to expect because this is, this is going to be an emotional chart of our first Aldi Instacart experience, okay? At least my emotions. So this is time... Okay, that way, and then this will be like the emotional intensity. Um, you know, good, good feelings, and uh, bad feelings. So like hope, despair, and um, so so so. At first, you know, we were like, say this is like the me the medium, okay, or the median. And, uh, you know, we're, we're up here somewhere. We're like, you know what? We're pretty smart. We're going to order food. We're going we're gonna to outlast this pandemic, but we're running out of some, some supplies, mainly like, like really important stuff. Like we already, we have like chicken and rice and that kind of stuff, but we were running out of like cheese and chocolate. And that was like kind of a crisis. So, you know, we didn't go to a store for like over almost three weeks. And, uh, so we decided, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try not to go to the store, and uh, we have you know have them delivered to us. So we decided to do this. So so we're like, you know, we're pretty pretty proud of ourselves. We're gonna be smart. We're gonna get this. So so we started shopping. You know, so we so you go on their website and you type in what you want. I mean, this is like Santa Claus. You know, you're making a list. This is great. You know, um, chocolate bars. Uh, you know, okay, great. So we'll get some chocolate bars. And uh, frozen vegetables, you know, too. I mean, like, and toilet paper. Oh, my God, we got to get toilet paper. So, so you're shopping. But after about the third item, you start to realize that you're, like, every item that you buy something for, you have to go through, like, four screens. So it's like, um, okay, candy bars. Well, I want, like, four of those. So, so it comes up, and then you have to pick the quantity, and then it goes in your cart, and then you get thrown back to the cart, and then you get thrown to another thing that shows your list. And then it's like, do you want to continue shopping? It's like, yes. So it's not like you can just go through a menu and just go click, 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 like there are boxes. Every time you have to click on it, every time you go back to these same four screens. So so what started out was like, yeah, this is great. It, was, it got a little tedious. So now I'm back down like below like, like median level here, you know? And it was so slow. So anyway, at the end of all that, I'm down here and then I started looking and I'm like, oh my God, we really bought a lot of stuff, you know? I mean, although, you know, to, in, our, in all fairness, it had been three weeks. So we were buying like about two weeks worth of stuff. Um, so our original total was about twice what our weekly total. We would normally go, we'd make a day of it. We'd go to a restaurant. Remember when they used to have restaurants you could go to? We would go to a restaurant and then we'd go shopping afterwards because we didn't want to like shop on an empty stomach. You know, that's not smart because you end up buying stuff you don't need but we would go once a week so this was two weeks worth of stuff so yeah it was a, a little bit but it wasn't you know like outrageous um we weren't buying for armageddon necessarily so then you get lucky so so then you get your list all right you're looking at it and you're like oh my god that's more than we usually spend but but not too bad you rationalize a little bit and then you're like you, you have two buttons you can press you can press delivery or you can press pickup right so we press delivery and we're like yes this is great they're the, and then the, the screen comes back and it says no delivery times available so now we're down here and uh no pickup times available it just says nothing's available so um fortunately my significant other she's on social media she goes out there and she she has friends who have tried this and they're like you know don't don't do anything just Keep on refreshing your screen. If you refresh your screen, you don't have to enter all the items again. And that's good. And then, like, eventually, you know, you may get a time. So we're like, oh, okay, this might take a while, but we're going to get, like, an appointment. Okay. So now we're about there, you know, after being in, like, shock and disappointment all the way down here. So we start refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. And nothing's happening. And, you know, we're refreshing at different times of day. We're doing it at midnight because somebody said after midnight might work. And then 
we're doing it at like the when the store opens and uh, at, when the store hours are open, like that's going to make a difference. And then, you know, for three days, nothing. And then we have a power failure. We have this big windstorm comes whipping through our section of the country and no power for 24 hours. So you can't even like refresh the Instacart, you know, but we got other problems anyway. The roof's leaking because something got blown off and all this other stuff. So we kind of forgot about Instacart, but we were pretty down here with the Instacart thing. And then, like about 24 hours after the power comes back on, um, we see, uh, uh, I, I refreshed it and, and it said, pickup window available. And it was like, what? Now delivery still wasn't available, but pickup said it was available. And my significant other, she's like, jump on it, jump on it, you know, so, so we picked the very first time that's available, and we're all excited, and uh, it was like two o'clock, but it was like four days from now at two o'clock, so it was like, okay, we're gonna get it, but it's gonna take longer than we thought, and originally we were thinking that they were gonna deliver this stuff to our doorstep, and we just like, you know, um, sanitize it all on the front porch or in the hallway and then bring it in but no now we're gonna have to actually go to the store and pick it up so you know we're 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 happy we're like kind of like a little bit disappointed but but still you know it looks like we're gonna get it well the next thing that's pretty cool is after you hit that button and pick your appointment you're not done because all that time in all the time in between when you make your appointment, and when you go to pick it up, you can still add and delete things to your cart. So if you decide that you're a little greedy ordering two rolls of toilet paper or two giant packs of toilet paper instead of one, you can like, the you know, use, you know okay, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll only get one, I'll, I'll, I'll share. Or, and then you add, you can add other things to your order too. So you're like, you know what, maybe we should get like six candy bars instead of four candy bars. Cause you know, I mean, it is a survival situation. So, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> that was pretty cool. So, so we're back up here again. But then you look at like how much you end up buying and you're like, oh my gosh, I really did buy a lot this time. You know, now I am stocking up for Armageddon. And then there's rumors on social media that other people have tried Instacart and their pickup times got canceled. Ooh, so now we're really like, okay, we're just going to have to wait and see. All right. So, so I'm thinking, you know, that's, that's like a little bit of exaggeration on social media. So I'm starting to get back up to like getting expecting again. And the, as the day of the pickup gets closer, we're getting a little more anticipation. So we're starting to feel a little bit better about this situation, right? So the day of the pickup, we're supposed to pick this stuff up between 2 and 3 p.m. That's when it's supposed to be ready. Well, it's one o'clock and still nothing. No message, no, no, no message, nothing. And then at like 128, a message. In fact, here's the message. I'll show you. The message says, due to high demand, your order will not be ready at the original time. <sighs> we'll update you as soon as your order is ready for pickup. Hmm, well, that sounds a little more hopeful. All right, so then at 1.30, two minutes later, Aldi Associate just started shopping. Woohoo! We'll notify you if there are any changes. Your perishables will be temperature controlled while in store and carefully handled until pickup. So now we're really happy and now we're like, should we get ready to go to the store? Should we go to the store and wait in the parking lot until they're done? You know, and this is like 1.30. This is 1.28. We were down here. 1.30, we're up here. So about three minutes later, I get these three messages and it says, all the employee refunded paper towels, refunded tissues, and I thought it said refunded bath tissues. So now I'm like... Uh, no toilet paper, uh, no paper towels, no Kleenexes. Well, that's a bummer. But I actually misread where it said the bath tissue. It said it was replaced. So I'm like, hmm, replaced. 
maybe we're getting bath tissue, we're just not getting the one that we w originally ordered, which is an off-brand anyway, so it's not like we were Charmin and Quilted Northern or anything like that. It was just, you know, whatever all these brands happen to be. So, um, so we're pretty happy about the fact that she was shopping. And then we start getting these messages like replacement items. So the one says like Aldi replaced, um, oh, the Aldi employee texts and says, would you like any other canned fruit to replace the fruit cocktail? And I said, sure, peaches or pineapple or mandarin origins. You are so sweet, thanks. You know, it doesn't hurt to butter up the person that's doing the, um, the ordering for you. So that made me feel good too. I was able to give that person a compliment. At this point, we don't know if it's a man or a woman. Uh, it says employee S. So um, at least you know uh, there's an identifier there. So then we go, we start going through this long list of, well, replace that, and then, well, we don't have the detergent you wanted. No, that's okay. I can live without laundry detergent. I checked it. We have enough laundry detergent for like half a year. And then, um, so, okay, refunded that. And then, uh, we don't have that garlic, you know, the, the tomato, onion, garlic sauce, but we'll replace that with, you know, and then it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes. So, so finally, so all that's happening. And, and meanwhile, it's about like, oh, I don't know, 212 when we get the last. So we're like, okay, this is taking longer than we thought it was going to, but it's still like, you know, within acceptable parameters. Cause originally they said that they were going to like, that due to high demand, it was going to be postponed. But actually, the shoppers started shopping before 2 o'clock, which is when we were thinking we were going to pick it up. And the window is 2 to 3, right? So we figure they're going to push that back, right? So <clears throat> so we get through the replacement items, and we're like, should we head out? Should we head out? No, 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 it's taking too long. Just wait until they text us. And they end up texting us at 2.34. Aldi, order is ready for pickup. Yay, 234. So you can see between like 128 when we get the, or 130 when we get the original uh, message, it's about an hour. Just so you guys know, like, and you don't go racing to the store uh, before that. Although, although the next line in that message says, pick up now until 3 p.m. So we're at 234 and we're supposed to pick it up by 3 p.m. So now we're like, whoa, we better get in the car and get there, all right? So if you live a long way away, you might want to head out before an hour, depending on how many items, of course, that you ordered. We ended up ordering, I think, I forget how many items, but it was like, it was a lot, you know? It was like, um, like I'd say around 50 items we ordered. So it took them a little while to, to do it. So... So it says your stuff's temperature controlled. So if you add milk or whatever and, you, and you're not going to get that right away, it's no, no big deal. It's going to be in the fridge and waiting for you. So, so, so we end up getting, you know, there, you know, so we get in the car, we go, and there's, tr you know, we're all excited and there's traffic. So we're down here again. And then like, so we get to the store and it's, the app says, okay, you know, press this link, right? Well, I'll press the link for you, but it's not going to do anything because the order is complete. But you can see here, it, at the bottom, there was a big button that said, you know, press this button when you're in the parking lot or when you have arrived at the store and park at the designated area. And there's a space right up front where they had these pylons all set up. So we pulled right up to that. And uh, we're waiting. And there's a guy, out, an employee out front, and he's kind of moving carts around. And he's got a mask on. He's got gloves on. And he's kind of like doing stuff with the carts. And we're not sure if that's uh, our shopper S or what. So we hit the thing and then I get, I look at my phone and I got a missed call and, uh, I don't know if the associate was calling to confirm that we're outside. So I call back and I'm like, no, I pressed the button. So I hung up and now I'm like confused. So we're, we pop the hatch and we're, so we're like, so we're like, are we doing this right? Cause like, it's the first time we've done this, you know? So like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. So, um, anyway, Finally, the Aldi employee comes out and starts loading our stuff into the cart and could not be nicer. And we already had a tip envelope like that we had disinfected ready um, in the back in the trunk. So when we pop the trunk, we're like, that's for you. Um, takes the 10 bags or however many bags it was, puts them in the car, 
and uh, we say our pleasantries, and, and we made no contact. We didn't have to deal with any of the people going in and out. About half of the people, the customers going in, had masks, and half of them didn't. So, you know, that is what it is. We wore masks and gloves the whole time. We even made the exchange. But, like, we got home, and we, we were, like, so infinitely happy because we realized that we were going to be able to eat for the next two weeks and uh, have chocolate and cheese in the house. So that's, that's, I'm just telling you guys, I don't know if you're anything like me, and I'm not a terribly emotional person, but when it comes to food, I'm a little bit emotional. So I'm just saying, if this is your first experience, you, you might want to, like, there may be some ups and downs. Let's put it that way. So you might want to uh, temper your expectations. But um, good luck. I know everyone else in the world is doing the exact same thing right now. They're all trying to get food delivered so they don't have to break the ban. Well, not everybody's doing that, but that's what we were trying to do. And uh, that was my first experience. And there's your emotional chart of, of my first Aldi Instacart experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe because I'm out of work. And uh, these videos are probably the only source of income I'm going to have for a little bit. So uh, thanks for... Um, Thanks for sharing and subscribing and uh, liking the video and uh, let me know what your experience was like because I love sharing and I like hearing your stories too. So take care. That's all I got. Do something nice for somebody today. Tip your Instacart employee. They're doing a, do a great service right now. Thanks. Bye.